Bloodstock 2013. We're here with Maurizio from Mixed Air. How's it going, man? I'm doing very well. You? Not bad. How did it go on stage earlier? Everyone dig it? Well, you know what? It's uh, first time ever in England, so for us being in the UK for the first time on a festival like this, you can't ask for better. So uh, it was, it went great. The crowd was great. Good reaction. So I think we're on to good things. Cool. And how has it taken quite so long? Because it seems like Romulus came out a very long time ago now. Oh well, yeah, 2008. It came out in 2008, yeah. I think, or something like 2009, eight. So uh, I think that we were so busy uh, working on uh, Germany and like the gas area and all that, the main mainland uh, and the U.S. That like it just didn't work out. We didn't, never had like a, a good opportunity to come here and, and, and tour the U.K. properly, you know. And we didn't want to half-ass it. So we decided to wait, and uh, now you know we're here with Bloodstock, and next month we'll be back here with Nile. So it's a perfect situation, uh, especially now being all Egyptian and sure. XDL being Roman is perfect. So, and at what point when you were kind of thinking up the idea for the band, did you realize that this could be more than just a you know one-off record? That there was enough material there in the Roman Empire to do more than one album and well, continue it. Talking about something that has over 2,000 years of history. Yeah. A lot of shit happened, you know. Um, I could probably do two records on Nero alone, you know. Yeah. And I think I think the idea is um, it's what it's brought to humanity and, 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 and evolution. It's affected every nation on this earth somehow. And I think it's the only really uh, empire or entity that's touched everybody. So I think it was an important thing to bring in, uh, especially with all these other bands doing like, you know, Amana Mazu, Vikings, and I thought that uh, the Roman Empire brought more, and if you want to go crazy, there's nothing more nuts than what happened, you know, with, with the Roman Empire, especially if you look at the fact that we invented crucifixion yeah. and crucified all kinds of people, and it's in metal everywhere. So, yeah. I, I mean, you know, there's enough material there to do this. So it's, I decided to do it for many different reasons. One of the reasons I'm Italian origin and I grew up with this stuff with my parents to be proud of where I come from and what we've you know brought to the world as far as you know history and, and good things. I mean they always told me the good things. Then I watched the Jesus movies and I saw all the other shit. I kinda thought it was cool the other part, but it is it is what it is and I, I, I um I'm a firm believer in it and I, I really like what I do with it and uh, see where it goes. There's no expectations behind it. You know, we have Cataclysm as our main band. This is something we're doing on the side. It's just growing extremely fast, and uh, we just let it go take its course. Sure. And is it kind of does it help that a lot of Roman history is incredibly violent and bloody? Does that make it more suitable for Roman? The more blood, the better for metal, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's you know. Look, um, it, it kind of in a way goes against what metal is in the sense that. You know, uh, people are, you know, in metal are more, more rebellion, and in, back in the times, everybody was rebellious against the institution, which was Rome. Um, I just think that what Rome brought in those times was different, and it, it showed this enormous sense of power. And I, I you know, and if you look at uh, Satan, for example, and other things, this is enormous sense of power. Yeah. And I think that it, it has this kind of um, parallel type of, you know, situation going on, and. It just fits metal. It's never been done, and uh, we need. I, I, I felt that since it was, you know, little story real quick. I was in Italy. I was touring with Cataclysm. One of the bands that supported us was doing the Viking metal band, and they were from Italy. With a Taurus hammer tattooed in the guy's chest and everything, and I'm like, why don't you do a Roman band? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't make sense for you to. And it's like, well, I like the Viking stuff, and it's cool, but you live in Italy. Yeah. So I was kind of like thrown back by it because it didn't make sense. I go to Sweden, Denmark, Germany, whatever, it yeah, works. Yeah. But in Italy, it's kind of like, yeah, it's cliche, man. It is, you know. So I was like, and they looked at me like I was crazy. So that's when I was like, you know what? I got Italian blood in my hands, in my, in my you know, veins. In your hands beat something rather different. And I can speak Italian, I'm going to do it. Yeah. You know? So I did something a bit different. Took a huge gamble, you know, to do this, and uh, but I did it with heart and soul, and all my guys are behind me on it, and they love it, and so it is what it is. I forced them to watch the Rome series and tour buses in the states. I have no choice. <laughs> and are there any kind of 
particular stories that sort of kind of, well, not stories, but historical events from that period in time that jump out as being particularly mad? Anything that's kind of really grim and violent that stands out above all well, things? Well, you know, one particular thing that we talk about on the last record is the Battle of Teutonburg in Germany, uh, which is, I don't just talk about glory, I talk about whatever it is yeah. that Rome in those times happened that it's, it makes sense talking about and uh, the Germans uh, when the Roman the Romans you know they got tricked into coming into the Tuttenborg forest mm. and three legions got wiped out yeah that's something and it's in Augustus time talking about at their height what it shows is that even if you think you got everything in life and you're good you're never good you never yeah. know what can happen so I think it's good to stay humble, you know, in your life, and I think it showed the Roman Empire to stay humble. Sure. That you never know, you know, what can happen, and uh, so it's a lot of different, you know, uh, angles to what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So. Sure.